If you're watching this video, then there's a good chance that you already know that Notion is an incredible tool for organization, project management, note-taking, and all-around productivity. It even has a feature that allows you to share certain pages and sub-pages to the web, and in turn create a website in only a few mouse clicks. The problem is, those websites look like this. Sure, it's organized, but the UI and navigation is less than ideal. Compared to a normal website, Notion websites are pretty basic and lack some pretty key features. So, how awesome would it be if your Notion site went from this to this? Or maybe this? That's where Super comes into play. Super is an online website hosting platform that integrates with Notion to create beautiful websites that have custom domains, third-party integrations, great design, and more. This quick video will show you how to create a professional website using Notion with the help of Super. Hey, I'm Caleb with Curious Refuge. Thank you for watching this video. Now let's get started. Before we get started, I wanted to be fully transparent and let you know that this video is sponsored by Super. However, at Curious Refuge, we only work with sponsors who make awesome products. So Super gets our stamp of awesomeness. All right, on to the vid. Step number one, pick your template. To get started, visit Super's template marketplace. You'll find a link below this video. They have quite a few free and paid designs that are built for different styles of websites. You can click in and preview some of the features. You'll quickly notice some advanced features like animation in the preview. I'm going to pretend like I need a website for posting jobs to our company. So I'll select the HQ template. Step number two, duplicate and link your template. On each preview website, you'll see a duplicate button. The duplicate button will have clear instructions on how to set up the website and each site follows basically the same setup process. Essentially, you'll just need to duplicate the Notion page for the website into your specific Notion workspace. Right off the bat, you'll begin to see how the website is set up, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, you simply need to create a super account using an email address and password. Next, click on the New Site button. Name your site. Set your template page in Notion to share to the web and paste the link to your website in the box. Your page should now appear on Super, but it's still in the basic format. To upgrade the design, copy the code from the duplicate page for your template. Go to code and paste the short code snippet. Hit save and boom, your Notion page is now connected. You can toggle the phone and computer icon to preview the page and hit expand if you want to go full screen. Step number three, update your pages. Any changes you make in the Notion site will now be reflected on the Super Preview page. Now, take the time to edit and customize your Notion page as it makes sense. You can also use Notion's Move feature to move blocks and databases from other pages onto your new website page. For mine, I will change out all of the text, update the images, and include new information about our job openings, which are created using a gallery view in a database. I'll also add in a new database for different perks at our company by duplicating one of the existing databases. For this design, you'll see that if I change the card preview size from large to medium, the design changes in our preview. Step number four, set your site live. To set your site live, upgrade to a paid plan. With the paid plan, you can create custom domains and activate your custom themes live to the web. Once your account is active, you'll be able to click your preview URL at the top to see your website changes live. But for our website, I want to create a custom URL. To create a custom URL, make sure you purchase a URL on a domain host like GoDaddy or Google Domains. Now, head back to Super and go to Domains and choose Add a Custom Domain. After you add in your website URL in Super, you will receive the DNS record codes that you can add inside your hosting platform. It's super simple, but if you get confused, you can just look at Super's guide, which can help you know where to add the info. 
you'll find the link below this video. After you go through these steps, your new website should be live. Step number five, creating new pages. If you want to add a new page to your site, create a new page in Notion, and as long as you have the sync button selected, it should appear in your pages menu. However, if you want to link to a page by hand, simply share it to the web and copy the page link. Now, go back to Super, select Pages, and hit Add a new page. You'll be able to customize your URL and paste the link to Notion. Once your new page has been linked, you'll be able to see it in Super. You can also edit the SEO settings for your page by clicking the three dots next to your page and hitting the Edit SEO Settings button. Be sure to be mindful of keywords and keyword synonyms as you fill out this information. This will help Google find and display your website pages. I always like to ask myself, what would people type into the search bar if they were looking for a website like mine? You can also password protect a specific page if you don't want a page to be fully available for anyone to access on the web. To set a password, just click on the three buttons next to a page and select Set Password. Step number six, advanced options. You also have various advanced options that can be set from the Options tab. In the tab, you can do things like update your favicon, which is the little icon next to your website's name in the browser. You can change your website's language, you can turn on and turn off search indexing, and if you want your website to be found on Google, I recommend keeping indexing enabled. You can also set page properties as visible on database pages to where they appear at the top whenever you click into a database page. And one of my favorite features is that you can turn on search for your website. This is especially important if your website has a lot of information or text. Step number seven, updating your design. From the theme tab, you can change the overall site style for your website. To change the color, select color theme, select the theme you want, and hit save. You can customize the font on your website by choosing one of the custom fonts from the library. Step number eight, updating the navigation. You can also customize your navigation bar in the theme menu. We'll change ours from the default design to a simple design. From here, you can change things like color, menu height, and whether the navigation has a shadow. Some themes even allow you to add in elements like buttons and navigation links from this menu. Each template can be a little different, so double check everything as you go. Just hit save in Notion and refresh the changes on your website by hitting the refresh button. Step number nine, advanced code injections. Just like a regular website, you can inject code into your super website. This unlocks a world of third-party tools that can run on your website. So, for example, if you wanted to add in a MailChimp signup box to your website, you can inject the code in the head code section. Now, after we refresh and save, our website has a signup box. Code injection can essentially be used to unlock a ton of potential features like Google Analytics, member space, chat boxes, and more. You can also inject and update the CSS code to specifically change certain elements of your website. For example, if we injected this code, we can change the background color to match our brand's colors. There's a link below this video with more information on how to update CSS. Step number 10, tips for success. Just like with any website, a super website is most helpful when you follow some website best practices. Here are six helpful quick tips for developing an effective super site. Tip number one, create a unified call to action. Instead of bombarding your visitors with tons of different actions, try to make it clear which specific action you want them to take. Typically, the page with your primary call to action is located in the top right corner of your navigation. Tip number two, create SEO-minded content. If your website is just a static page that never changes, you'll have a hard time growing traffic to your site. Be consistent with posting content to keep it fresh. Tip number three, create email signup opportunities. Whether you use MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, or anything in between, be sure to find ways to capture email addresses. The easiest thing to do is simply create something of value and give it away if someone signs up for your email list. Tip number four, get links to your website. 
Whether it's through posting valuable content on social media, partnering up with influencers, sharing in groups, or simply adding links back from other websites you manage, try to increase the number of links to your website. Don't be spammy about it, but if you think your website may give value to an online community, share it out. Tip number five, know your website's purpose and audience. It's important to know the purpose of your website and the community it's serving. This will not only help you scope out your content, but it can also help you know how to properly get the word out about your site across various online communities. Tip number six, join Super's support group. Super has an online community chat that you can join using the link below this video. In the chat, you can ask questions and get feedback on your website. Now that you know how to use Super, that still begs the question, when should you use Super for a website? Well, simply put, I think Super is fantastic for any website owner that wants to use Notion for their website's architecture. This means that websites like wikis, databases, and blogs could greatly benefit from Super's Notion integration. This tool has a ton of potential for people who are fearful of the typical web design process and want to focus on simply building out their Notion content. You can click the link below to get started with creating your Super account. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about web development, marketing, or productivity, subscribe to our channel. We also have a video full of Notion tips that you may find helpful. Best of luck on all your projects. We'll see you next time.